the show we're, we're introducing uh, what we call electronic stability uh, protection and control, ESP. And I think the revolutionary aspect of this is this is really kind of the first time that you've got uh, sort of a safety pilot with you in the integrated autopilot and avionics system. So now you've got the ultimate way to prevent uh, loss of control because something's watching over the airplane and making sure it's safe. One of the things that caught my attention is the occasional uh, issue that occurs when a pilot is not monitoring or controlling their oxygen properly, passes out, and very often it's a tragedy. In this particular case, it needn't be that way. No, that's right. You know, and this is, this is a little bit different functionality that is outside of the, the ESP system, but still in the same software load. Uh, that we're putting in with the same release and it we've got a couple of additional safety features that, that are important and and preventing hypoxia is is you know any of us that have flown in the flight levels it's something that you, you you're thinking constantly about your own personal safety and we've had a, as you mentioned we've had a couple of incidents over the last couple of years where people have uh, either become unconscious or or lost uh, all of their capacities the system recognizes when there hasn't been, and, and it varies with altitude because obviously the severity goes up with altitude, but it recognizes, okay, a certain amount of time has passed, the pilot has made no inputs to the, to the avionic system, multifunction display, the keyboard or the primary flight display. Um, therefore, I'm going to assume that he's maybe not, 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 does not have all his faculties because of hypoxia. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make an advisory, and if there's no reaction, I'm going to bring the airplane. Let's say I'm at 25,000 feet, which is a pretty critical altitude. After four minutes, if there's no interaction with the system, you're going to get an advisory. Then the airplane is going to descend down to 15,000 feet. Now, if the pilot has, if he's pushing buttons, etc., then everything's good. You're going to keep flying. It, the system knows that the pilot's in command of the aircraft. And of course then as you go down in altitude, if you're down at a lower altitude, let's say 15,000 feet, then it gives you a span of time of around 30 minutes before it brings you down to 14,000 feet and then, then down to 12,500. So um, we all know that if, if you become incapacitated, um, you know, there's, there's shorter and shorter time durations, uh, physiologically speaking, before you're, you're uh, not able to, to deal with the airplane. This gets you to the uh, safe altitude where you start getting your senses back. So, um, you know, now you've got, I call it a toolbox, you're, you're, you've got armor mm -hmm. to protect yourself from safety. So if you're autopilot on, you've got the, this hypoxia uh, altitude descent mode system that's going to prevent that. If your autopilot is off and you're maneuvering at altitude and you start losing control of the airplane, you've got the ESP system. So you have now you have all these different tools in your chest to keep you safe. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.